Master LL for 2014 year end review. Again, here are the games LL played for 2014. The Walking Dead Season 1. Then now Kisaki. Tomb Raider. XCOM. Enemy Within. Castlevania. Lords of Shadows. 2. Arno Surge. Adelier, Eschatology Deception 4 Piles of Light Assassin's Creed 4, Black Black Marshall The Idol Master, Gwen Fornal. Idol Your Shari. Tales of Shilia, 2. The Walking Dead, Season 2. Destiny. Sentinel. Sentinel keeps the two. Dragon Age Inquisition. Tales from the Borderlands Episode One. Let us begin. That's one. How the story production was taken. Nominations. Final games. The winner of the best prize. Great Frontier. Brave Frontier. For the Android and iOS. Doesn't seem like it has much of a plot. But after playing the game for a very long time, you will notice the immense amount of plot there is in this game. While this game does have a main storyline plot, as a summoner who's been requested aid by LL, Lord Lucius, you're provided with the beautiful plot Tilly. Anyway, as you journey and spend your money to gamble on getting rare units, you'll come across a lot of characters that have actually some great plot. Demo, for example, doesn't really have much plot, but it's great with music. And you should also try that game too. While Lilith, my god, she got some enormous plot going on. There's so many characters with amazing plot. Oh, you a bucka! Ow! <laughs> That's not how the story production was taken. Nominations. Final games. One of the best players. Then now she's the game too. Sen no Kisuke 2 is amazing. The amount of details, characters, and history behind the whole game is just overwhelming. Honestly, I can't describe how I was completely overwhelmed since I never played the game from the beginning. This means missing out on many details like Crossbell and many characters and factions my viewers were aware of when I was streaming this game. No other game this year matches up with Kisuke in this amount of death, characters, and future visions of this game. But the most crazy part of it all is the storyline is still continuing with future installments. This is a world-class novel for reading, watching, and playing, ladies and gents. Hence the winner of my true, real plot of 2014. 
Best Battle System, Direction and Improvement of the Battle System. Nominations. Sen Nao Kisaki, 2. Adore Your Shari. Clouds of Light. Dragon Age, Inquisition. When the best battle system is... Dragon Age, Inquisition. Make no mistakes. All four nominations have great battle systems, but in the end, Dragon Age Inquisition does come out at the top. Using a real-time action and strategic system, the challenge in this game is valid. The ability to learn and use MMORPG tactics you may have learned in World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy XI, and other similar games with instance raid experience does work in this game. In fact, I was able to take on enemies 6 plus levels higher than me by getting through due to smart planning with line of sight, pulling, crowd control, and many more. With all these tactics, many playable classes and characters, it edges out at the top of having the best battle system of 2014. Best protagonist, Relations and Region A. Nominations. The Walking Dead, Dragon Time. Clouds of Light, Aurora. Tomb Raider, Lara Croft. Marksman, Aiden Pierce. The winner of Best Protagonist is... The Walking Dead, Dragon Time. The protagonists in this year are amazing, as the majority are ladies. I don't want to hurt anyone. Unfortunately, as awesome as they all are it's and rightfully easy. deserving, only Clementine comes out at the top. I'm scared, Lee. Clementine is the heroine of The Walking the Dead. First, getting to know and protect her in Season 1. Then up to actually controlling her in Season 2. Gives an insane me. look at her point of view. Oh, I wouldn't do that. She is I one promise. tough lady, witnessing and going through what no Everything normal child be should right. be going through, but ends up resilient regardless. Depending on what response you give her at the end of season 2, it can be very heartbreaking. Due to the people you've met and their fate from the course of your actions. Here's looking towards season 3 and see how much more Clementine will grow. Best protagonist, biggest last villain in the story. Nominations Inquisition, Cordell Pierce, Tales from the Borderland, Hugo Vasquez, Mark Song, Lucky Gwyn, Lords and Killers, 2, Satan. The winner of Best Protagonist is Tales from the Borderland, Hugo Vasquez. The antagonist this year doesn't really have that impact, unlike last year with Bionic Armstrong and his nano machine, the Sun. Satan is just a lame loser, while Kryphius is just a throwback villain. Lucky Quinn does have some merit, but the way the storyline flows in Watchdog doesn't make him a huge antagonist. This leads to Hugo Vasquez. What? His smug You're attitude, demoting your hard-earned promotion, enough. and being an ass has really pumped me up to get my revenge on him. You're dismissed, this Reese. motivation makes me want to play the rest of the episode when it is released, just to see I'll how revenge will be served on this mofo. Best original soundtrack, no SD, sounds poor quality and quality. Nominations. So now, Kisaki, too. Clouds of Light. I never surge. The Idol Master, when for all. The winner of Best Original Soundtrack is... Clouds of Light. All four nominations OSD are amazing this year. Sando Kisuke 2 music helps with the plot and feels of the atmosphere of the game. Our No Surge is a no-brainer. With amazing vocal songs, it's just like the Art Analytical series. Idol Master is all about the music. 
both Tonari Ni being one of my favorite new songs in this latest installment. But, Child of Light have it all. Beautiful vocals and atmosphere like music that gives you that vibe while exploring or fighting. I have to give it to Child of Light since every piece of music fits right in every situation and creating the mood of the game. If I can only buy just one soundtrack this year from all the games I played, Child of Light will be the one as the best OST of 2014. Best Gameplay Virgin Anthony Quality Music Game Design Nominations Dragon Age Inquisition Destiny Sen no Kisaki 2 Child of Light when her best gameplay is Child of Light The overall gameplay of Child of Light is perfect. Not a long game, but not a short game. A fairy tale like story spoken in a fairy tale rhyme like script. The design and graphics gives that fairy tale like vibe too. Puzzles aren't hard yet does take some smarts to clear. Battles can be challenging, especially on hard mode, unless you take full advantage of the whole system. Music? Well, won the best OST for the year for me, so not much else to say about that. As you can see, Child of Light have all of this combined in one great package. It doesn't need to have a huge amount of mini quest, insane gathering, huge outworld or optional bosses. All you need is a well laid out fairy tale like story, great composition and well pacing, making Child of Light my overall favorite gameplay of 2014. Best moment for 2014 allows me with the year. Nominations Destiny, PKA, Movie. Send now Kisaki 2 Praise the Sun Tears from the Water Bell Letter Bell Sacrifice The Pot When her best moment is The Pot Ah, lots of great moments in 2014, but only a few really hits the top. Being able to PK your own ally in Destiny was just unexpected. But yet funny at the same time. After that incident, we always tend to try to kill each other, accidentally. Praise the Sun, a meme from Dark Soul, was used a lot in Sen no Kisuke 2 as a lost art, a very powerful spell which wrecks havoc and destruction in the game. But the biggest meme of all is the plot discussion in my stream channel. It just seems no matter what game, movie, book, or anything we talk about, there is always something about the plot. Whether it is a no plot, little plot, some plot, large plot, or enormous plot. Regardless, this is a healthy discussion about the character's plot as human beings. This allows us to explore and learn the personality of the ladies and their past, present, future storyline. Learning their plot is half the battle. The other half? Well, we'll just leave it as that. Most surprising, most unexpected game for 2014. Nominations. Piles of Light. Sen no Kisaki 2. The Walking Dead. Tales from the Borderland. What I have most surprising is Child of Light. Honestly, I didn't really think much of this game when I tried it out. But damn, did this game completely caught me off guard. The musical score is beautiful, and the way the story is told is very fairy tale like. Battle does seem like a basic Grandius type system, but despite looking basic, 
it does provide a decent challenge even on hard mode. You have to know when to attack and guard to succeed. Not to mention, never ever get into an ambush or you'll most likely get a game over. If you're into RPGs, you should definitely check it out. This is the type of game that industry needs, as it doesn't always have to be the biggest named popular RPG, but rather smaller unique original RPGs that creates a beautiful experience. Nurse disappointed. Didn't live up to your high Don't get me wrong, Destiny was fun, but Bungie really screwed up with the initial settings of the game before they finally fixed it. The content was pretty sparse, and getting new equipment is just oh, mind-boggling yes. stupid. When you get a purple engram, you have a chance to get anything from an epic gear to pure trash. It really hurts when that happens, as the logic in trying to get new gear doesn't make sense at all, but rather counterproductive. Overall, it is fun playing with friends. But when there is a lack of post-campaign content and horrible grinding to get better gear, it really turns off the player. But as of now, from what I understand, the latest patches fixes those problems. And while I would love to play it again one day, after too many months, it may be a little too late at this point. You killed Moogie! You ran him over! Best bet. Best WTF mode for 2014. Nominations. Another Surge, Early Breast, Absent. Dragon's Crown, Missing Clitty. Inquisition, Adventures in Chocolate. XCOM, RV Betrayal. The winner of Best Plug is. Dragon's Crown, Missing Clitty. You seen seeing that too, right? No, he's invisible! <laughs> oh my god! That's awesome! Invisible kitty! Oh god, that's awesome! Wow, this is like gay stuff now, huh? This is the most kind of video clip. Jump, just please don't jump, bro. Because I'm doing it! That's a kitty call. They still suck at the uh. <laughs> Wait, I hate going Oh my god, Most improved, the sequel better than its predecessor. Nominations. Send no Kinsuke, 2. The Idol Master, 1 for all. The Walking Dead, Season 2. I am your Shari. The winner of most improved is. I am your Shari. For better or worse, A Tyler Shally is the most improved game I played for 2014. By removing the time limits, they opened up to the possibility of new gamers wanting to try this game, as there are many that will be put off by the staple time limits of the series. Also, the battle system is much more mainstream, toward the Monokamina style, which the sub Atelier fans enjoy. Again, this change does open up a lot more possibilities for new gamers to play, but it also put up those who want the staple of the Atelier series, mainly the time limit. But who am I to judge? I honestly love them both. I love the time limit aspect as it makes me play it much more intelligently in what I want to do, whether it is alchemy, battle, or harvesting. But I also like not having a time limit, as it allows me to do whatever I want without any worries. Either way, of all the sequels I played this year, Atelier Shally is my top.
The question is, if the American fans will feel the same way when it's locally released this coming 2015. I am the Alpha of the Year, largest member of her edition. Nominations The Walking Dead, Planet of Time, Tomb Raider, Lara Croft, Final Third, Cassie Iron. Failure, Eschatology Eska, Linka, Theria, Lucille Deception 4 Lagrina Piles of Light Aurora The Idol Master, One for All I don't hear Shai. Shai is there. Tans and Julia, too. Elise. Tans and Julia, too. Alan, Tino, Apple, Samuel so Kisaki, too. Alisa, Samuel so Kisaki, too. Tola, Dragon Age, Inquisition. Liliana Tales from the Borderlands Fiona The winner of L as L for the year is The Walking Dead Time It should be no surprise that Clementine would be the number one lady of all the games I've played this year in 2014. Throughout season one, you've grown to care for her as you protect her from the evils of the failing world. He even came to the point where you, a slee, risk his own life just to save her from harm. In season two, you are guiding her through the rough times, tragedies, happiness, and heartbreaking situations. In the end, how you decide her course of action really gives a huge WTF moment for the finale of the final episode. Getting to know Clementine feels like having your very own daughter or friend. I am really curious to see how season 3 will be like with this mass amount of possible endings for her assuming there will be a third season starting her. Interesting enough, Clementine is the first to win both Protagonist and L4 in the same year of my year-end review. LL's 2014 Game of the Year LL's Overall Favorite Game The winner of LL's Game of the Year is Piles of Life I wonder how many people saw this coming. But judging by the mass amount of awards I've given to this game, it should be a no-brainer in the end. It may be strange to give an award to a lesser known game, but if you look at the list of games I've played this year, it will make sense. Almost every game I've played is a sequel, spin-off, or a big known game. Yes. 
They are all fun and amazing, but we need something fresh. I love games that is original and unique, but yet gives a nice theme and personality it is trying to present. Child of Light is that game. As you all know by now, Child of Light has the vibe of a fairy tale like atmosphere, from the rhyming scripts to the graphical designs. The music is beautiful as it helped provide the mood, while the battle system, which isn't technical, is simple and challenging at the same time. As stated previously, we really need more of these unique and original games. This is what keeps the gaming fresh, not all the rehash, remix, super special ultra editions, pre-sequels, sequels, and more. So there you go, Child of Light by 2014 Game of the Year. A small production game which Ubisoft actually did amazing on. Unlike the rest of the big production crap they released this year. Like Unity. <laughs> oh my gosh, Unity. <laughs> oh man.
and develop LGA for you. Goodbye.